Okay, today we're going to open up this Ultra 8 oil filter, number 3612412. And you can get this at Napa Auto Parts for $6.79. So let's get at it. It looks like it has a metal, this is a cord. It's supposed to Okay, there's nothing on the box for as far as where it's made. There's really not too much information on this box. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I don't know if that's a date code or not. Some numbers there. And there's more right there. You get some more numbers down here. And if you can read that, then you'll probably know what country it comes from. I'm assuming it's Japan, China. Anyways, with this plastic cover over it, which is cool, it's got this sticker you can fill out so you know when you changed it. I think I'll use it sometime. Okay. It's got a weird base plate. You got eight inlet holes. It's got this weird weird design to it. Never seen one like this before. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like when it's opened up. Here's your O ring. It's kind of a rounded O ring. Seems fine though. And I see some uh, louvers in there. And I don't know about the. That's a bypass valve down there. I don't know. You got your probably average amount of threads on the base plate. Yeah, I say we open this up and see what it looks like inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Your base plate, the O ring. It kind of got a unique design here. It fits in, tucks inside here. It's got like a little lip to it. See, so it goes around and tucks in. You know, most likely it would uh, stay on better when you, you change your oil filter. Okay, and your anti drain back valve. Come off too easy, but I think this is a this is a rubber any drain back valve, just nitro rubber, because it's got it doesn't flex like the silicone ones. It kind of holds its shape once you bend it. See, yeah, these aren't too good. And filter media, I counted. 50 pleats, get your metal crimp seam, nice and even, no excess glue or anything, metal end caps, get your metal inner core with louvers, bypass valve, I don't know the setting on this, and I don't know the filter media, or what the filtration numbers are, or the, you know, what it's made out of. Sorry, I just couldn't find any information on it. And it's got a strange metal leaf spring here. Strange looking. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's a better flow when it goes into bypass mode, I guess. I don't know. They're trying to save some money maybe here. <laughs> I don't know, that's weird. And the can itself, I was getting 0.5 millimeter. That's yeah, about 
And the width, okay, what's the width? The width is about one and a half inches wide. I think that's about it for this. Uh, I say we cut her open and see what she, uh, how long she is. Okay, here she is all laid out. She's 52 and a half inches long. All right, and here's the metal core. You can see it's louvers. I took this apart here. I'll show you the, how the bypass works. Let's see. Pretty hard to push on these things. There, you can see it opening up. Yeah. Uh, the filter element, you know, feels like your regular, I don't know, it could be paper, cellulose, it's probably a mixture of synthetic and cellulose, I don't know. Um, you know, $6.79, I think the price was, and eh, you can get a better filter, I think, for that. That's about it for this this filter here. I mean, you got your these are all the components there. You got over in the bypass valve. That's I mean the anti drain back valve. This isn't very good. I mean these ain't that good. This especially this one. This one seems pretty stiff and uh and then it holds its shape once you kind of bend it. So it's not very it's not very good. I don't like it. And this this seems like it might uh. This might just freaking collapse under pressure, you know? I don't under, I wonder why they made it. They cut it all out like that, you know? That's not too good. I've seen the other kind, you know, the ones that were fully made with metal. I've seen those collapse. Once I, you know, I took one off my, my vehicle before and it was collapsed. So that's why I don't like these. I like coil springs a lot better. But that's, that's what this filter is, you know? I, I, me personally, I wouldn't buy this filter. I, you know, I guess if you had to use it, but I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't use it for too long. Hey, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching, and take care.